So what I'm going to take you through is just, so again, from A to Z on how to run a successful Facebook and Instagram video ad. And so what I call, and I, and I, and I kind of break it down to three steps. There's three things that you want to do to, to really launch it successfully. Step one is putting it on the business page first. So post it on the business page first. You'll always want to put your ad there first. Um, and we'll write out all the text. So make sure everything is, is, is there on the page. So go to your business page, post it like you would anything else. I have like a, I have a lot of clients, man. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, you're probably the young, you're, yeah, you're definitely the youngest, but it doesn't even matter from 18 to freaking 60. Most will tell me that most will say, David, it's like, shit, I'm, I'm kind of camera shy. Like most are, are still like that, man. So whether it's videos that you put out via ad or, or, or images, you can go both ways, man. You can go both ways, but here I at least want to show you how to run a, run, run, run a video ad. So You'll have this skill because this is freaking powerful once you can once you know how to run these video ads. Um, but if you don't really want to run, and that, I don't think that video is going to get emailed to you, man, to tell you the truth. I think, the file, <laughs> I think the file might be too big. I'm wow. surprised you, it, it even let you send send it. Normally, yeah. Gmail would have just not even let you send it. It would have said file too big. Mm -hmm. um, but what I do is when I record a video on my phone, I'll just simply upload it to Google, my Google Drive because I'll have the Google Drive app on my phone oh, or I'll that. upload it to, to Dropbox. And then I'll come over here to my computer. I'll download it to my files and then I'll upload it to Facebook because I can never email a video to myself to Gmail because it's always – the file is always too big. But um, but yeah, you can – it just depends on how you want to build your brand, man. Like real estate agents are building personal brands. There, there's not too many that are just putting out generic logos or or even just images. There's still a human being, a personal brand, you know, the agent. You'll always still see their face. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, I mean, you know, and you should know this more than anything, man. You're at, at your age, social media is all you guys know, and video is all you guys consume. Right? Would you say your age group? Yeah, like my son, bro, like my son's 16 years old. All he's, all he consumes on that damn phone is video, yeah. like video on Instagram, video on TikTok, video on, on YouTube. It's just video. So that's why someone like you, that's really trying to break into real estate. Yeah, dude. Like you kind of, if you can start getting the hang of, 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 of simple video and, and videos don't need to be edited in my, in my opinion, like you can go that far and, and, and try to perfect the damn thing. And hire someone to edit, but that's not even needed, man. Like at all, at all, at all. Like as you grow and as you get more better and as you just get more comfortable, then you can probably start editing videos and, and start adding a bunch of cool stuff. But really, it's not even necessary. It's not a TikTok. It's not an Instagram um, 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 reel. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a Facebook story. It's not, it's not a video where I need to edit it really. Um, that's just my opinion. Here it goes. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So you could just download it from here and then and then boom, you'll have it. Awesome. Come on, Google, you got it. Whatever. Ta -da. Nice. Okay, cool. So you can hit that green. Yep. And then just you'll find it there. And here is just kind of keeping it friendly, man. Look at that, dude. Handsome kid, bro. You need to start doing video, man. I'm telling you, you're going to start doing video. Yeah. And 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 it doesn't have to be video all over the damn place, man. So don't think you got to really put put out a video every damn day. No, you don't. Like what I'm really taking the path I'm taking you guys down, and what I'm really trying to teach is how simple it really can be. One video every 15 days. That's it. That's my entire social media marketing strategy. That's it. It's not a it's not it's not a video on all these damn platforms. It's not a video every day. It's it's none of that. It's 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 running an ad on my one video every 15 days. That's literally it, dude. And if you can do that, a, a, a nice little backdrop like that, dude, I'm telling you, you have what it takes, bro. You have what it takes. I wouldn't even worry about any other forms of marketing. If you can just keep it that simple, you'll crush it. You'll crush and this really applies to the local business owner. To a local business owner, if if you were marketing something like, for example, your bikes and and what you sell on the internet, 
-hmm. that's when you got to market and, and, and you probably don't even advertise on that, but, but that's when you can, yeah, you don't that, but, but my point is that's when you can put out stuff organically and just share it with freaking everyone and their mother, because you can sell to anyone in any freaking country. But in this case, I'm trying to take over a local area. So my organic and all these damn videos that I think that I need to put out, it's not even necessary. If I just put out one and run an ad on it and target my backyard where I'm trying to do business, that's all I need, you know? So, so here, the text, open up. What are we saying in this? What, what are we talking about in this video? Hey, and, and here's, here's really the, the text for a, for a video like this. This is the intro video. The text is going to be a little different, but normally there's a three-step framework on this ad copy is what we call it. The text, the ad copy. Number one, and I'll, and I'll take you through the three steps, but the third step might not apply, but, but it's still, it's still relevant. Step one is always calling out that audience. So, so what, what area are we really trying to focus on? Appleton or Fox, the Fox Valley. So basically Appleton. Hey, Appleton, this is Carter, your local real estate specialist. Hey, Appleton, this is Carter, your local realtor. Hey, right. So number one, I'm, I'm always calling out that audience. And whether that's my intro video, whether that's an open house video, whether it's a listing video, whether it's giving away a seller guide video, I'm always calling out that 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 audience. So so type it. Okay. I would say something like, "Hey, hello, hello, Appleton. This is Carter, your local." Right. Wow. So that's the first thing people see, the first thing people read before they even watch the video. So automatically, Fox Valley pops in their mind. Automatically, the word "local" pops in their mind. Right. So now you're able to relate to them a little bit more. Hello, Fox Valley. This is Carter, your local real estate specialist. We're doing expert. Real estate expert. Just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. I know a lot of people may not know exactly who I am or what I do out here at Appleton. But, but in this video, I'm breaking down my passion, how long I've been in the real estate space, why I love helping people, blah, blah, blah. It's that type of, of, of text um, when it comes to the ad copy of, of an intro video. But but so so number one, calling out the audience. Number two, telling that story. So this is part of telling that story. Just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. In this mm -hmm. video, I'm going over this, 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 and this. So number two, I'm 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 that's the meat and potatoes. I'm telling that story. Whether I'm giving a tip, whether I'm giving a mistake to avoid, whether I'm just introducing myself, that's number two. Number two, I'm telling that story. And then typically number three, when it comes to a lead ad, it'd be the call to action. But but here there's really no no hardcore call to action, but but we'll still we'll still write something. I'm just going over my background and how I got into the real estate business. Awesome. Love it. For more for to to or or maybe somewhere along the lines of to stay up to date with the current market or to 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 make sure you you know exactly, you know, um um where rates are headed or whatever. Like all I'm trying to do is get them to follow my page. For more, for more information on the on the housing market and to really stay up to date in 2024, make sure you like and follow my page. I'll be putting out a lot of content this year that you're not going to want to miss. Something like that. So how I got into the real estate business, for more information on, on the Fox Valley real estate market, Oh, why did the marketing? Yeah, market. Be sure to be be sure to like and follow my page. I have a lot more content coming out this year that you're not going to want to miss. And then I would even throw in just for the hell of it. I, I mean, it's an option, but something like, and by the way, don't forget to say hello when you see me at. Like if there was like a popular mall, or if there was like a popular, you know, freaking. Oof restaurant because these little things stick in their mind and they're and they can relate to it right mm -hmm. so so you don't have to put something like that but but that could be like a little little dagger at the end just so they that you they really know you're down the street mm -hmm. you know but that's fine that's fine right there have a lot more content that you're not going to want to miss perfect and that's it dude so we got the ad copy we got the video and then here's what we're going to do too the video options click on video options at the top this is where you can add the subtitles if you wanted to um, I think, yeah. but the video title is, is what's, is what's important. The video title is what they see 
in the bottom left hand corner of a video ad. So as you're in your news feed and you're scrolling, and this applies really to the, this applies to all parts of the platform, but really in the news feed, because you can visually see it right away in the news feed. As videos are scrolling through your news feed, there's a little, little piece of real estate there that you can write something, the video title, which is the bottom left of the video where you could put something. Um, and so that's, that's what we'll put here. So something like, and something sweet and short. Normally it's a call to action, but in this case, it's, there's really no call to action. And that's fine. So in this case, it'd be, it'd be something like, it, it could be, it could be, um, meet your local Appleton realtor or meet your local Appleton real estate expert or something like that. And we can't write too, too much. So hopefully that, that even fits, but, but well, something along those lines, <laughs> meet your local Fox Valley real estate expert. Yeah. I had to put up in Fox Valley. So that's what I said in the video. So that's like just all the surrounding cities around here. So. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's it, dude. That's it. And then click on save the blue save and then post. So, so step one of three, step one is publishing it, posting it on the business page first. Click, click on, yeah, pu publish original post. So posting it here first. And the reason why that's so important is because as we now go to step number two, which is publishing the ad, actually setting up the ad. When we get to that step, which is next, we can no longer change the text. Yeah. So we want to make sure that everything is there. <clears throat> everything, there's no grammar errors. Make sure everything's there now. And then, and then we'll go publish it. And it, normally it takes about two minutes to even get here. Refresh the page. Normally it takes, it takes a couple minutes. It doesn't, a video doesn't publish instantly like an image would. In this case, it did. Really cool. Holy shit. Really, really cool. See, dude, I'm telling you, Carter, you have what it takes, dude. You have what it takes. That's a minute and six seconds. Um, and that, that, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> Our whole objective here is to run it under awareness. Awareness is really to get thousands of views. That's where your videos go viral when you mm -hmm. when you run awareness ads. But the main objective to do it is to capture your custom audience is to capture those who actually watch a percentage of that 104. Because not everyone's going to watch 104. Not everyone's going to watch the whole damn thing at all. But as people scroll through, there's going to be some that just scroll and they watch it for a second, two seconds, three seconds, five seconds. What we want to do, and here's the number one objective of this awareness video ad, it's to capture the audience of those who watch it for at least 15 seconds. Those that watch it for at least 15 seconds are now in my custom audience, which I'm going to use to retarget and show them future ads. That's what, this is what starts it all. So the whole snowball effect, the whole viral, the whole brand awareness, it all starts with this one video. This is where I'm going to capture my first custom audience. So when I put out ad number two, I'm going to now, I'm going to now have a custom audience to retarget. Ad number three, do the same thing. Custom audience, retarget those. Right? So, so that's step one. Posting it there, we're good there. Now let's go up to a new tab and let's go to our, do we have our bookmarks? Yeah, we have our bookmark folder right, right there at the top. So let's click on that folder. Let's come down. To, let's come down to um, ads manager. So step two is now we're going to publish the ad. That's it. So this one. So how did that? So that second one never turned it back. It didn't do anything. Yeah. That's so weird, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. And we'll. And I don't want you to spend on that one right now. We'll 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 come back to that one. But at least mm -hmm. it went up a few hundred on that first one. Yeah. It should have. It should have went way way higher. Um, what did it you spend spent on it? Half, it only spent 20 other it, and it didn't even, yeah. See, so we're, I mean, shit, we can cry over spilt milk, but, it, but, but at least it didn't freaking spend the money. It'd yeah. be different if it spent the money and we had a shitty return. That'd be different. But in this case, it just didn't spend the money for whatever freaking reason. Um, and at least, at least we didn't get ripped off, but, it, but we went up a few hundred and, and that's fine for now. Now we'll just focus on our local area where we can always come back to the page like that. So, but that second one, the blue dot shade that to gray. So page like to, yeah, shade that to gray. Second tab or this, yeah, the middle ad set. Click on that middle, shade this one, and then the third one to the right. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. Perfect. So now create the audience. I mean, create the ad. So hit the green. Yes, this is going to be awareness. Perfect. And then here, you're going to always go, yeah, we can name it at the top. We'll just name it intro video intro video and then in parentheses awareness because that's what you're going you're going awareness and then categories right below you'll always hit that drop down categories 
and you'll go housing. So you're going to always go housing. Perfect. And then United States, leave that because now we're going to be targeting the U.S. and targeting your local area. So we're fine there. So hit next. And that's it, man. That's step one um, of any Facebook ad, really, um, or Instagram ad. And again, in this case, we went awareness. So now step two, performance. This comes down to – actually, that's fine. Max, maximize reach of ads. That's fine. There's the Facebook page. You're good there. Click on show more options. Right. The blue show more options. All right. Okay, cool. So you're good there. And scroll down. So now we're going to keep going a little lower. And here's your budget. So this could go and, – and, and, and again, so now you're just thinking of, okay, 30 days. I'm going to run this one. This is your intro video. You're going to run this for 15 days. So all you want to do is think about, okay, what, what can I monthly, what can I, what's my monthly budget? What can I comfortably put towards this? Like, is it a hundred bucks a month? Is it 200 a month? Like is, cause when you break it down $5 a day, $5 a day is 150 a month. Right. So, so you have to, you have to look at that because now you're going to really dive into it. Now you're going to, you're going to, you're going to want whatever that budget. So let's say for example, it's 150, 150 is my total budget for the month. In this case, I would only go $75. I would go $75, run it for 15 days, and then spend my other $75 on the second part of the half of the month. And there's my total of $150. But in your case, I don't know where your budget's at. We can do 100 to start with and then ramp it up if we need or if it. So 100 total for the month? Yeah. Perfect. So then just do 50 here. So that's, my, that's what I'm trying to explain is that whatever yeah. the monthly budget is, just divide it by, by yeah, just half it. So lifetime, lifetime would be 50? Yep. Lifetime be 50? Yep. Perfect. And then I'll always start the ad the next day at 6 a.m. Um, local time. Yep. 6 a.m. local time. And then it's going to end at that time as well. Yeah. And then just push it out. Push it out 15 days. Perfect. And then um, 6 a.m. Yep. Same thing. And that's that. So now you're going to scroll down. Perfect. Keep going down. There's your audiences, custom audiences, and then location. Yeah, so go in and edit the locations. And now you're going to just go in go in into, into your local area. So take away United States, X that out. Oh, I got X. And whatever, whatever the targeting is here. So if it is Appleton... It's Appleton from this point on, mm -hmm. right? Like I would just stick to that one area, city, and you can even go up to 50 miles if you wanted to. So 15, the max is 50. So you can – you. What do you what, think? I mean 15 is is is, is good. Like I, I think 15 is, is, is a good handful of zip codes that you can really dominate. You know, like – when do you think we should do a little more just because Appleton in Atlanta is like 70,000 people? So go to like you can. 25? Yeah, you can go to 25. Just to get to like here because we work there a lot too. So. Okay, perfect. So oh, whatever shit. it is. Not 125. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, just stick to it. It will be 25. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now scroll down. So that's, that's that. And then age, you cannot change. Gender, you cannot change. Um, detail targeting, That's that's not – that's where the keywords go detail targeting but in your case you're targeting a local area so you don't even need to put any words there facebook will find that relevant person that fits mm -hmm. your content and start showing it to them so detail targeting is not even necessary detail targeting is when you're marketing a product on online and you're selling to the entire country or you're trying to sell to different countries like you like your motorcycles for example yeah right that's where i would i would run an ad to the entire country and and then i would filter it out with detail targeting keywords I would only target people that follow freaking motorcycle. Like I would only target enthusiasts of this sport, right? Like that's when detail targeting is really necessary. But now when I'm targeting a super local area. So so leave that as is and then scroll down placements, advantage plus placement. You can leave it on that. That's recommended. That's when Facebook just places it everywhere and that's fine. Um, and then just click on, actually you name it at the top. Let's give it a title at the top. Scroll up. And here at the top, all I'll do is just name or brief or briefly describe what I did below. So I'll briefly describe what I did below. So take away so name it at the top. New awareness. Yeah, delete that. Delete that. Fifty fifty dollars lifetime. Fifty dollars lifetime budget dash um Appleton dash 
or 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 even Appleton, Appleton 25 miles dash um um advantage placement. That's it. Just so when I'm looking at the ad on the dashboard, I can I can I I'll know exactly what ad that is. I don't have to click on it, I don't have to go into it, I don't have to read what the mile does. I can look at the damn title and know what ad that was. That's why titling is is important. Perfect. That's all you need. Okay, good. And then next. So that's it, man. That's step two. And then and then you know what? Go back real quick, hit the back, bottom back. Yeah. Let me just explain this part to you real quick. Here on the ad set level, so scroll down. This right here, when you go down to the placements, keep going, keep going to placements right here, go manual placement. So if you say, David, I only want to run an ad on Instagram. Perfect. This is where you do it. All you would do is uncheck Facebook, uncheck audience network, and only leave it on Instagram. That's it. That's okay. an Instagram ad. Now, what I really want to make sure though, that I do first, though, is I want to make sure that that video is optimized for Instagram. Right. I want to make sure that it's under a minute. I want to make sure that it's vertical. I want to make sure that there's probably some some editing, you know, subtitles just like you put in this one. Mm -hmm. Right. I want to for sure optimize it for that platform. But that's how you would do it. So you could for sure run ads just on Instagram and, and that's how you do it. OK, so so that would be manual placement, unchecking everything and just leaving Instagram. So in this case, we're going awareness. In this case, we want everyone on every platform, on every piece of the platform, Instagram and Facebook to see it. And that's advantage placement. Okay, so so click on next, and we'll go manual placement. We'll start playing around with manual placement when we actually start running lead ads. Mm -hmm. That's when we'll start testing different placements on a, on a lead ad. Okay, perfect. So here um, at the top, you could just put intro video. That's all we need. No awareness, just intro video. That's fine. And then there's the Facebook page. There's the Instagram account. And then ad setup. Hit that drop down for create ad, and you're going to come down to use existing post. Perfect. So use existing post. Select post. And then you'll, you'll you'll see that post. So right here, oh, right here. Yep, select see. post. There's that video. Hit continue. And you'll see by default, you'll see, yeah, scroll down. Actually, yeah, it didn't, it didn't add the send message button. Scroll down to the left. Scroll down a little bit. Keep going. So add button. Go to an add button. And you can add a send message button. That's fine. No one's going to really click on send message. Yeah. It's not optimized for that. But but that's fine. It just fills the space. Nice and, and that, it's nice to have send message. Perfect. And see how see how the video title didn't really fit. Meet yeah. your local Fox Valley real estate. No, the bottom That's left good. of the video. The bottom left of the video. What? Oh, right here, yeah. I Watch see. the video title. So next time we'll just know to to, to write something a little shorter. I could take local out. And it'd probably fit. What's that? I said if I, I bet if I took local out, or do you think local is important to have? Actually, yeah, you could have took it out. Let's see if you can. I don't think you I don't you might not be able to edit it anymore. That's and that's great. fine. But go to your Facebook tab you have open. Yeah, try it. That might be. So um click the three dots and just go into edit. Yeah, video options. Yeah, perfect. So see if you can put that. That might yeah, you're right. That word might not be necessary. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's that's even better. Perfect. But it's still I'm I'm thinking it still might it might be a little too long. But that's better. That's better than Worth a try. Yeah, it's better than how it was. Save. Okay, cool. Perfect. Are we have to reselect it or will it just no, it'll, yeah, it'll just automatically reset. All right. Yeah, we're totally good. And that's it, man. Hit publish, and that's it. Now in the future, when you start running lead ads, that's when the call to action would be learn more. Mm -hmm. And you would have put in your landing page link right there. Yeah. Right. So, so that's all that would have, would have been different on this, on this step. That's it, man. That's how you run a Facebook video ad. That's how you run a, a, a Facebook Instagram ad. In this case, we went, we went, Brad, we went awareness on a lead ad, which is all you'll really run in the future lead ads. In that case, all you would do on the ad set level is one extra click, um, which is set in your custom conversion, but I'll show you that later. But but as far as like the flow, it, it's the same exact thing. Um, and again, here you would have just chose the learn more button and put your put your website link, which would have been your landing page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so in in my whole three steps, step one, posting it on the business page first, making sure the text is on point, making sure there's no grammar errors, none of that. That's step one. Step two is publishing the ad, and then the last step, hit the X or close out of this window here in the middle, just that X in the middle. No, not the whole oh. town. Just, yeah. So now we could just go straight to our bookmarks. 
Now, again, moving forward, everything is in these bookmarks. Everything is going to evolve around these seven. That's mm -hmm. it. So from this point on, um, custom audience. Every every video, this is step three. So step three is creating your custom audience. And, and in your page, hit the blue button, create audience. I mean, in your business, I should say, custom audience. In your business, all you want to be doing is creating custom audiences around website and video. That's really it. And and even if you don't, <coughs> excuse me, even if you don't get landing pages, then you'll you'll create audiences around lead form. Yeah, because you can work you, on making landing pages. Yeah, so so website and and video is where you'll primarily stay stay at. So in this case, we're gonna go video. We'll go video. Hit next, and then engagement. So hit that drop down and come down to. So these are all the different timestamps. I can create an audience of those who watch it for any of these these amounts. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so 10 seconds, 10 seconds is a long time, man. And, and again, you know, your age, your generation, they don't have that time. You, right. Like you guys can't even watch something for four seconds <laughs> before you're, before you're scrolling, before you're skipping, before you're freaking swiping. Like, so that's why 15 seconds is a good time. 15 seconds is kind of the sweet spot. If someone sat there and watched 15 seconds of my stuff, then, th then there's a good chance they're going to remember me next time they see me. Right. And, that, and that's all that that's all this is. So retargeting, 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 and then choose videos, hit that blue, choose videos in the top right, and then just find that video. So hit your drop down, um, the oh, Facebook sorry. page, Carter. Okay, perfect. So there's that video, hit confirm, and then um, give it a name. Uh, intro, like video. intro video, intro video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, 15 seconds. Create audience. And that's it, man. So so this is where I truly believe the majority of people drop the ball when they're putting out videos. Number one, and this, this applies to your business specifically, what your dad does for marketing, what you're going to be eventually be taught from these brokers on how to on, on how to how to market. What everyone's doing is they're putting out video on a listing, on an open house, whatever, hit done, click done, the blue one. They're putting out video and they're putting it, they could be putting on their Facebook business page. They could be putting on their Facebook profile, whatever. But most time they'll post it on their business page. They might share it to their personal profile and then share it to all their friends. And so the only views that are going on that video are people that live across the country. That's the problem is that most are just posting organically and you're getting random people. And although people relocate, for sure. But that's not marketing, like at all. Yeah. At all. That's just throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. That's all that is. And so problem number one I see is, yeah, that's all they're doing is posting organically. But at the same time, this, they never create a custom audience. So even the views that are on one's video, they're not in a bucket. That's all these audiences are. These are buckets, buckets of people that have watched your stuff. It's like, dude, if you're going to put out all these videos, create the custom audience, retarget these people, show them your next ad, right? And so this is what your dad wants to be doing for sure. As he puts out his real estate videos, it's like, dude, put it on the business page and come over here and create your custom audience. But but really, to tell you the truth, I only create custom audiences on the videos. I, I'll only create custom audiences around videos that I'm actually running as an ad. So if you're if, like your dad, for example, if he's going to just yeah. randomly put out a video and just share it on his personal profile and it's about real estate, but it's not it's not ran as an ad, a video like that, really, you don't need a custom audience. It's only if I'm running an ad on it because this video is going to get thousands of views. This video is going to get thousands of local views. And I need those people in a bucket. I need those people in my bucket. Right, they need to be in this audience so I can leverage that and show them my next ad. Show them my next ad. Show them my next ad. Right. So, so by the time you're on ad number four, ad number five, ad number six, and you're retargeting, 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 and you're and you're focused in on a local area, I'm telling you, Carter, you have the opportunity to dominate. You really do, dude. You really do. You really do. Like you have the opportunity to show up in everyone's newsfeed that live down the street. No one's really doing that. Not your broker, not these, wow. not these guys that have been in the business for twenty five years. Not your dad, like none of them, <laughs> none of them are, 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 none of them. They're all still old school and doing offline shit as if it works. Now, if it works, that's great. If it works, you're spending way more than you need to be. But this is where we're at. Everyone's on their damn phone. Everyone's in their newsfeed.
you got to show up, you know? So, so, so that's that, my friend, that's, 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 that's our video ad. Um, any questions on that? No, let's just hope it spends the damn money. <laughs> yes, for sure.